Globally varying textures are those with spatially varying patterns. Here are just a couple of examples. These kinds of textures are very common. Because of their prevalence, globally varying textures have been widely studied, as shown in this list of recent work. In addition to the usual textures, globally varying textures may also be associated with a control map. Here we show an example of a crackling paint texture where the control map defines the thickness of the paint. A variety of previous research uses control maps as well, although they refer to them with different names. Globally varying textures don't have to be static images. They can also change over time as shown here. Here are some examples of globally varying textures that we have studied in this paper. As you can see from the size of the data sets shown here, one of the major problems in using globally varying textures is the large amount of memory they consume. In this paper, we present inverse texture synthesis to address this size issue. Given a large globally varying input texture with an auxiliary control map, our technique computes a small texture compaction that best summarizes the original, including both texture and control. This compaction can be used to reconstruct the original texture from its control map or to resynthesize novel textures from user-supplied control maps. Due to the reduction in size, synthesis from our compaction is much faster than from the original. Furthermore, the image quality remains visually similar. Here we show more resynthesis results. For globally varying textures, the user can supply the control map to produce a desired result. Notice the similarity between results synthesized from the original and from our compaction. In this example, the user tunes the accessibility for cheese mold. Here's an example of bananas ripening. And here is a sequence of drying wood. Because GPUs have limited texture memory, the reduced size of our texture compaction is particularly important for GPU-based applications. We have designed a new algorithm for real-time synthesis of globally varying textures on the GPU. Here we demonstrate our algorithm using a simple interactive painting application. We begin with a homogeneous texture. As you can see, it looks pretty boring. However, given a compaction generated by our technique for a similar texture, the user can paint texture details directly onto the target surface. To be more precise, the user's brush strokes actually affect the control map from which our system performs real-time globally varying texture synthesis onto the target surface giving the user a what-you-see-is-what-you-get experience. Here's the final result after the user has painted some more strokes. It's much more interesting than the original homogeneous texture. In our next example, the compaction is a time-varying texture instead of a single static image. By dragging a slider, the user can change the global age of the texture in this case representing the accumulation of dirt, and our system responds in real time. Here is another example in which the user paints with a texture that varies with position and time. The result depicts the growth of mold as cheese ages. 